Hello guys and welcome to MIDI Stack Circle. In today's video I want to present you and to show you or demonstrate you another tool from Samsung for your PC and for your Android or your Galaxy device. And um, the last time I showed you the program um, or the tool Samsung Flow where you could um, log in into your device um, via biometrics on your Galaxy phone and you was able to, um, to send files. And now I want to show you another um, another program which is called SightSync. And here you can basically um, you can basically also project the screen of your um, Galaxy device with um, or on your PC. So that's really easy. So you download the SightSync app or the SightSync program on um, your PC. So this is not. Um, found in the Microsoft Store, you will head to your browser and type in SightSync and then go to the Samsung download page and install this program. On your Galaxy device, you just install it from the Play Store. So yeah, the connection is really easy. Just follow the guide here. Um, you have to open SightSync and then your device will show up. So here I will connect now to my um, PC. The screen will close. And here you will get the dashboard. So this is the dashboard where you can see your missed notifications on your Galaxy device or your, um, yeah, on your Galaxy device. And here we have a um, button to connect or to project the phone screen. So let's quickly tap this. And here you can see that um, our phone screen um, turned off. And now we have here um, the projected screen of um, our Galaxy S7 Edge and yeah I will show you something really cool. So as you can see I'm here connected with my Galaxy S7 Edge. The screen is projected and watch this. And here you can see my Galaxy S7 Edge which is away from my laptop and plugged in into the charger. So I can charge my device here, land it here on this board and and I can still be in touch with my device completely wirelessly and that's really nice. So also you have an option to connect your Samsung device over, um, over USB cable. So if you have a weak Wi-Fi connection then you may prefer the um, USB cable connection um, option because then your quality will be better. But this is really nice. So for example, I'm um, always editing my videos for YouTube with PowerDirector on my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. And I am, or I have the ability to really work productively then on my PC. So you can see that PowerDirector is opening up. I can also go into full screen and you can see that I have really the ability to edit um, and produce a video um, which is normally an application just on your Android device. I have here the projection from my Galaxy phone and I can work with a mouse and with the keyboard of my um, laptop here on my PC. So you can really use this um, yeah, productive in a productive way. So this is really nice. So um, I like this feature a lot and the ability to do this because it's much more comfortable to edit a video here over um, over the PC display than over the um, yeah then over the smartphone um, display. So you can also open up every app you want. So here you have the buttons for multitasking and um, the home screen or the home button here virtually and um, this is really cool so um, yeah you can definitely check out this application called SightSync it's free and um, also here you have many many settings you can check out so you can check out the resolution you want to um, to project here so if you are selecting a higher resolution, then um, it depends on your Wi-Fi connection. But with weak Wi-Fi connection, I would suggest to 
put a lower screen resolution because this will um, not be laggy then. You have also many options to um, directly create your shortcuts on your um, on your here um, on your dashboard. So for example, if you want to go to the calendar, you just click the shortcut option and this will directly open up the calendar on your mobile device. So this is really cool and can really be productive. Also every sound you are playing here on your Galaxy S7 Edge will then be um, given from your laptop. So this is definitely cool. You can check it out. So as I said before, it's free. Um, but for the Galaxy S9, um, this won't work because of um, policy settings or privacy settings. Um, this There are new routes or something like that. And SiteSync is not available on the Galaxy S9, but Samsung will update Samsung Flow with the ability to display or to um, duplicate or project the phone screen on your uh, PC. So if you have an S9, you will have to wait that Samsung Flow will be updated. Yeah, so that's a video about the Samsung SiteSync tool. So um, if you like this video or um, thought or find this video useful for yourself, please give this video a thumbs up and I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon here on Medis Tech Circle. I say bye and to my next video. Peace out.